Hello everyone. My name is Shardul Vikram. I am a student at Faculty of Engineering and Technology at University of Lucknow. I am going to present before you a presentation prepared by me on the topic Dairy Waste Water Treatment and Electricity Generation Using Microbial Fuel Cell. India is the world's largest dairy producer, producing over 198 million tons of milk, which is 22% of the global production. Nearly 2% of the milk handled in the dairy goes out as wastewater. The volume of wastewater generated is 2 to 10 times the milk processed. So what is the need for treatment of dairy wastewater? Wastewater from dairy and cheese, cheese industries contain mainly organic and biodegradable materials that can disrupt aquatic life. Due to high pollution load of dairy wastewater, the milk processing industry discharging untreated or partially treated wastewater cause serious environmental problems. So why there is a need for alternate energy source? Some of the biggest challenges the world is facing in the recent decades are energy crisis due to continuous depletion of coal reserves. Increasing pollution levels in terms of carbon dioxide emissions are not on track, which causes global warming. To quench the world's energy demand, it is important to find alternate energy resource, which comes under renewable energy resource. So what is microbial fuel cell? A microbial fuel cell is a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy by the actions of microorganisms. My, microbial fuel cells are considered as an alternative for generating bioelectricity from wastewater by using microorganisms. Microorganisms are capable of converting a wide variety of biodegradable organic materials into carbon dioxide, water, and energy. Microbial fuel cells harvest this microbial-driven energy and also provide the necessary habitat to maintain their growth and metabolic activities. The microorganisms utilize organic substrate as their energy source. Microbes are being used in MFCs, to generate bioelectricity while they aid in degradation of organic compounds present in the wastewater. So this is a case study on dairy wastewater treatment and electricity generation using microbial fuel cell. So we will see the fabrication of microbial fuel cells. Dairy wastewater samples were collected from Karnatak Milk Federation, Mangalore, India. The electrodes used for experiments are copper and stainless steel. The anode and cathode chambers were separated by perforated acrylic plexiglass plate filled with glass wool and glass beads as filter media which allow the flow of effluent from anode to cathode compartments. Also it assists in ion exchange from anode to cathode chamber. The digital multimeter was used for measurement of voltage and current generated in MFCs. The laboratory setup of MFC is shown in figure 1. In this figure, we can see the laboratory setup. Now we will see the MFC operation. An MFC typically contains two electrodes, anode and cathode. Bacteria on anode decompose organic matter in wastewater producing electrons and protons. The electrons flow to a cathode through an external circuit generating electricity and the protons diffuse the, from the anode to the cathode. Once the cathode, the electrons and the protons react with the electron acceptor such as oxygen and form water. In this figure, we can see the process of microbial fuel cell. Now you will see the methodology. Laboratory experiments were conducted under different operating conditions such as flow rate and organic loading rate. 
the mfc was fabricated with acrylic plexiglass sheet of 6 mm thickness and capacity of 2.5 liter stainless steel electrodes and copper electrodes were used and positioning of electrodes was optimized the aerobic unit was connected to anaerobic unit with the 5 mm diameter of pipe the drip bottle was connected to the reactor to feed the dairy waste water to the reactor in this case study experiments were conducted in two phases phase 1 used copper electrodes and phase 2 used stainless steel electrodes each phase had two cycles each cycle was given a retention time of 6 hours dairy waste water containing anaerobic and facultative microbes were characterized and were fed as substrate which helps to decompose the organic matter present in the waste water bod cod and tds concentration were analyzed before and after the treatment in this table we can see the results of cod bod and tds before and after the treatment now we will see the results the treatment efficiency of mfc was evaluated in two phases and each phase consists of two cycles as shown in table 1 the dairy waste water was seeded into anode chamber with two feed rates 2.5 liter per day which was cycle 1 and 5 liter per day which was cycle 2 with copper electrodes two feed rates 2.5 liter cycle 3 and 5 liter per day cycle 4 were also used for stainless steel electrodes and the performance of the reactor was evaluated in cycle 1 and 2 using copper electrodes the removal efficiency of cycle 1 came out to be 89% for cod 87% for bod and 74% for tds for cycle 2 cod removal efficiency came out to be 90% bod removal efficiency came out to be 90% and the tds it was 78% in cycle 3 and 4 stainless steel electrode was used the treatment efficiency of cycle 3 came out to be 85% for cod bod removal efficiency came out to be 81% and cod and tds came out to be 75% in cycle 4 cod came out to be 87% removal removal efficiency of bod came out to be 85.7% and for tds it was 77% the voltage generated with copper and steel electrodes are shown in table 2 the bioelectricity generation was more in copper electrodes compared to stainless steel electrodes in this table we can see electricity generated in different cycles now the conclusions can be drawn as the highest cod removal achieved was 92.2% for copper electrodes in cycle 2 and 88.3% for stainless steel electrodes in cycle 4 the highest bod removal achieved was 88.02 for copper electrodes in cycle 2 and 85.1% for stainless steel electrodes in cycle 4 tds reduction efficiency of 76.3% for copper electrodes in cycle 2 and 74.6% for stainless steel electrodes in cycle 4 higher degree of treatment was achieved with copper electrodes compared to stainless steel electrodes in both the cycles the maximum bioelectricity generated was 644 millivolt hence it can be concluded that mfc can be considered as a viable alternative for treatment of dairy waste water with the benefit of bioelectricity generation simultaneously during the treatment process which has the potential to address the energy crisis too thank you